Okay, my name is Chitin Tamang. I'm from Langtang village and I was born raised there and I came in Flagstaff 2003. But now how beautiful village is, all gone. My people, my family, my civil, everybody's gone, die, and it's like not village anymore. And a lot of kids who lost pa parents and injuries and suffering people out there, still survival people are in the village who doesn't have a place to stay and place to sleep and place to eat. And I'm just so scared and nervous and thinking about it. I cannot stop crying, taking emotion, but I have to be strong for my family, for my village, for kids who are survive. And, oh my gosh. I have a longest conversation with the, my cousin. It's just she's crying, crying so much, and I say, keep stopping, keep breathe, and talk to me. What's happening? How many people die? Who die? And who survived? Who got an injury? And all those things. How many people in hospital? How many people in the village? And she was telling me, but she just so crying, screaming so much, some words like, I don't even understand what she's talking about. I also have to support that people who are gone. We, our religion has like lots of things going on. People even die. They have, we have to do lots of things for them. But right now, like lots of bodies not there. So they have to collect the body and then do all together. But we haven't heard anything yet. The phone call was Kendo Rinpoche. You talked to Kendo Rinpoche? Yeah. You didn't tell me. Yeah. And did he give, give you a blessing? Mm -hmm. She said, and he he says, said, I'm so sorry that you, you have to be through all those things that happened to you and your village and your people, family, everything. Nice. So he asked to say, send the names and he'll say prayers? Yeah. But the village used to be. Whole thing is gone. Amazing. There's no monastery, no houses, nothing. And how many people lived in the village? Well, it's, I will say population right now is eight to nine hundred. For all of the villages, yes. all mm -hmm. four villages. Yeah. But, um, but some of those are children in boarding schools, yeah, so and a lot of the kids were in boarding schools, including our, our niece and nephew who are, yeah. who are now orphaned. They were in Kathmandu, so the village many times is devoid of children mm. because they're all off in schools, every single kid. It's really, really heartbreaking. Like, people like my sister, she's like not even 36 years old. And not just her, I mean like her entire village is gone. And it's like there is no way to live race at our village again. It won't be because there is no place you to see. It's like, oh my gosh, who can believe like that? Nobody knows what's happening and what's going to happen. It's like so scared and 